guys it's been a while since I vlogged I keep thinking when's the last time I put something up I think it's been a while and hello to my new subscribers and welcome back to my other subscribers I am at the school um, waiting to pick up Kristen um, if you don't know Kayla is sick she's in the back seat she's lying down um, I'm taking her to the doctor but it all started last week you know she um, was feeling sick on, on a Saturday. You know, her sore th she was having sore throat. Okay, nothing to it. It seemed like she was getting better. It wasn't that bad. She went to school, but by Tuesday, um, her teacher said she was lying down in class or she was feeling dizzy. She was crying because she felt really, really, really sick. So the health room called me. It was around two o'clock. They only had maybe an hour or more of school. So I went and um, I rushed over. I, I picked her up, but you know, she wasn't waiting in the health office. No, she was waiting in the library, um, not the library, hello, in the lobby where people are coming and going and she's feeling dizzy and she needs to lie down. But no, I walked in there. I'm like, I have to go to the health room. You know, my daughter, Kayla, and then Kayla's like, it's me. <laughs> oh, what are you doing out here? So then we went back into the health office, signed her out and whatnot. So before I even picked her up from school, I knew something was wrong if she's all like that and her teacher said she was all like that, like crying and dizzy and whatnot. So I made an appointment for the next day on Wednesday to go to the doctors. So we went to the doctor and they did um, check her throat and she did end up with strep throat. So of course the doctor prescribed antibiotics so we went, we got that, you know, she's supposed to take nine, nine millimeters, I think. And Kayla really hates medicine. It's really hard for her to take medicine, but she tried the best she can. And I'm supposed to give it to her morning and night. So, okay, she started feeling better. Um, she couldn't go to school Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Monday was a uh, Labor Day. So then she went, she just went back to school on Tuesday. And then yesterday which is Wednesday she came home from school and she's like oh, my throat is starting to hurt I'm like no you gotta be kidding your throat is sore and then you know as the night progressed she didn't look good and you can tell when she's sick when after school she gets out of her clothes and she goes right into her bed and she stays there the whole entire day in her bed and that's how you know she's not feeling well so I'm like oh no and then three o'clock in the morning she's throwing up like throwing up her guts I'm like oh my poor baby she's sick again and then she threw up maybe another time I think maybe at six o'clock in the morning and then so that's today right she threw up three o'clock in the morning six o'clock in the morning so of course she can't go to school but I went to the school because I was gonna I volunteered in the library I just did two hours and so um so I made an appointment again with her doctor because I described her symptom because she says her throat still hurts it's itchy she has a sore stomach and plus throwing up she didn't have that the last time so since she had strep throat you just want to double check it maybe she got a relapse maybe it's something else completely but we want to double check with her so so right now Kristen gets out of school at 3 o'clock it's around 2:40, so another 20 minutes Kristen, and then we're gonna go home and if Kristen wants to go with us she can if not she can stay home um, and we will go to the doctor and just hopefully it is nothing serious but i will keep you posted so we are at the doctor's office it is around 4 30. we were walk-ins came around four o'clock and they try to squeeze you in in between patients she does not look good she feels really dizzy um she's just lying down i'm not going to show her because she just doesn't look well poor baby so yeah i just hope it's nothing serious or her strep throat is back um poor baby and so yeah that's where we are right now doctor's office look they have little designs and stuff so oh that was close up sorry <laughs> i'll check back later good morning guys it is the next day it is friday chris Lynn is just going off to school the hubby is dropping her off it is about 7.35 in the morning, so yesterday, thank God, Kayla does not have strep throat again, but I'm opening everything up, but she just has a stomach virus, so she can't go to school until Monday. So my, my poor, 
poor baby. I know Chrislyn has been having a sore throat also since Saturday, but I did take her to urgent care and she didn't have her strep throat. They said she was fine. So, oh, I don't know, but oh, I'm so tired of doctors and I'm being sick ever since school started. So anyway, and today is family picnic day. Caleb was like, oh, I'm going to miss the first family picnic day of the year. But I said, don't worry. They always have many more at the school. But Chrisley wants Taco Bell for lunch. So at 1230, I'm going to meet her at the school and bring her some Taco, 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 Taco Bell. So, so yeah, we didn't get home from the doctor yesterday till about what? I got. I think we got out like 5.30. We were there a little bit over an hour. And then I went to a drive through brought dinner home. And Kayla basically rested. But after the, um, the assistant swabbed Kayla's um, throat in the doctor's office, she puked. Yes. I knew it was coming because she said it was complaining. Her stomach was hurting. She felt like she had to throw up. She was trying to hold it in. I had my Walmart bag. Ah! <laughs> And yeah, she puked in the Walmart bag. So I came prepared and I just told the assistant, oh, is there anywhere ever I can put it? And she grabbed another bag and we put it in there and then she takes it off because I didn't want to just throw it, you know, in the garbage inside the room, you know, it will stink up. So anyway, so yeah, so I'm so hungry. I don't know what to eat. I'm probably going to have my coffee first. So as I'm getting ready to, um, go meet Kristen for lunch at school. I wanted to show you, this is what I found at TJ Maxx. Um, the Revolution Makeup by London. And this one is just a whole bunch of concealers. I've used some, I don't know, maybe I'm not too good at it, but I really don't like these. I'd rather use um, full coverage foundation because right now I use the Bye Bye foundation I do love it and I think it works better with my concealer but I only got this because I wanted to check it out and I'll probably use it maybe if I run out or if I need extra and this was only $3.99 and then I also got a foundation brush by Urban Studio and it's not bad it's like painting your face so I've used it and this was also $3.99 and then I got this what is it Ellen Tracy it came with all three of these. It was a lip kit with a pencil. It's not, I probably like this color the best. And these, just for these three, they were just $2.99. And I also did get a, a primer balm for my face for $2.99, but I threw that out because it gave me itchy red rash. So yeah, you can find good finds at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, um, there are sister companies. If you look, you can find what you need.